Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an RSL GFX just like this in a short amount of time, hopefully. And yeah. Alright, so before we do anything, there's some things that you're going to need. You're going to need building tools by F3X. You're going to need Moon Animator 2, or maybe like the original Moon Animator, but like I, I don't know where that is. And if you can't afford it, then just get a Legacy Animation Editor, which is basically the same, it's just like harder to use, it's like less, I don't know, it's just kind of the bad version of Moon Animator. You're also going to need Blender. And then you're going to need to download this file right here, which is going to be every Arsenal skin from like a year ago. And then this is uh, a Blender file that you're going to need that will help you with the lighting. And then I just have the plugins listed under here, and I will link this folder in the description. So yeah. So first thing you're going to want to do, after you've downloaded everything, you're going to want to open up Roblox Studio. You're going to want to create, get a base plate. You're going to want to delete the uh, spawn location or whatever. And you're going to want to go to model and then click model again you're going to want to import all the arsenal skins then you're going to go over here click the arrow and you want to choose which skin you want you're going to select it you're going to drag it into workspace and then you can just delete all the other arsenal skins and then you're going to go then you're going to click on it go to position and set it to zero comma three comma zero then you're going to go to orientation and do 0, 0, 0. Then you're going to go to plugins. It really doesn't matter what order you do this, but you're going to click building tools. Click on the, either press M or click on the anchor and then select unanchored. And then you're going to want to click on the delinquent, go to body colors. And then if you want it to be red, if you want to be a red team like from Arsenal, you're going to want to get bright red. If you want to be blue team, then you get bright blue. I don't know if there's bright green or oh yeah there is and then uh bright yellow i guess I don't know. i'm gonna do bright blue for today's video and then now you can see uh that it's changed color but the cat needs to be changed color so you're going to click on the accessory go to handle sometimes it'll be in mesh but for this one it's just in handle and once you've done this so now you go to mood animator we gotta open a new one new animation name it whatever item to add item Click on your character, press OK, and now you can animate it to do whatever you want. I'm just going to do something basic. Once you've done that, you're going to go back to building tools, you're going to select your delinquent, and you're going to press M, or click on the anchor, and you're going to anchor it. And then you're going to select delinquent again, and you're going to move all the accessories into workspace. Now what you're going to do, you're going to select your delinquent, you're going to right click, go to export selection, and you're going to put it in a folder, wherever you want it to, and you're going to do the same for the accessory, except you need to actually check something, you need to click on the arrow, you need to go to the mesh, and you need to check if there's a texture ID, for this one there is, what you do is you double click on it, uh, copy the number, um, and then you go to like a random Roblox mesh or texture, blah blah blah. You go up here, you select these numbers, and you paste the numbers from your texture into there. And then you just download it. Pretty sure this one doesn't have, yeah, this one doesn't have one, so I can just export this. Hatch. That's basically it for all you have to do in Roblox Studio. Alright, so now we're going to open Blender. We're going to select a cube, we're going to press delete. Get rid of that we're going to go to file open don't save you're going to click on the lightroom thing that you downloaded earlier you're going to open that and this is like a preset i don't know who made it i forgot but uh it's a preset for lighting all right and then uh you're going to go to file import wavefront obj models then you're going to click on the obj file and you're going to import that and you're going to select this for now You're going to just select everything, bring it in, and you'll notice that uh, for the hat, um, it's going to have the wrong texture. For this case, for the delinquent hat, okay, usually the, for this uh, blender file, it's different, but I just make it so I change the colors. But I'm just going to click minus. I'm going to go back into Roblox and get, go to the handle, copy the hex value, go back in, go to hex. Place this 
and then I'll, I would just fix the settings. Like, and now I'm gonna import the nerd hair. And remember, this one actually had a texture, so you're gonna click on next to base color, you're gonna click this arrow. When drop down, you're gonna click this file button thing. You're gonna find your PNG, that was the texture, and you're gonna, yeah, basically just select it and it'll go over that. Now for the lighting, so you go here, blah, 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 open that, open that, go to plane. For the warmth, uh, go to hex and just spam F on your keyboard. Now it's white. And then for the back, I'd suggest making it go down to 20, for the light shrink, or like somewhere around that. And then yeah, now you're like, you're basically good now. So now you're going to click on view, go to cameras, go to click on active camera. Then you're going to go click view again, navigation, walk navigation. And you're going to use WASD in your mouse to position the camera. I'm just going to get a basic spot. Then where you're going to want to click, you're going to want to click this TV thing. You're going to want to go down to render, click on samples and make it, I believe it's 512. So now I'm gonna click render image. And there we go, now it's rendered. Now once this is done, you go to image, save as, put in whatever folder. I'm gonna just name this tutorial. Then I'm gonna go to Photopea. This is, you don't have to do this at all. This is just a personal thing that I think makes it look like 10 times better. I'm gonna find it, you wanna want drag it onto Photopea. Center it, whatever. You want to click on it, go to filter, go to camera raw, you want to go to contrast, set it at 15, go to vibrance, set it to 50, and you want to go to saturation, set it to 10. Now I think this looks the best. And now it looks like 10 times better if I open this one up next to it, you can see how the skin tone, it just, it just looks better. Everything just, yeah, it just, it, it just looks better. I don't, don't ask what happened to the feet. Yeah, and then you just go to export as, PNG, blah, blah, save it, and bada bing, bada boom, we are done.